I know, this is dramatic. I never really post anything like this. I was really inspired this morning and I wanted to recreate this look by this Instagram baddie, Brooke L. Her and I, nothing alike, nothing similar. <laughs> I love the shadows on her. I know I don't have the same eye shapes, but I was determined that I was gonna recreate this look in my Asian eye version. This look turned out to be really fun. It's colorful, it's loud. I could see myself wearing all black, attending a holiday a Zoom party with this, if you will. This look could be easily rocked for New Year's Eve. You're at home Zooming away with your friends and family. So if you guys wanna see me attempt this crazy loud look, then please keep on watching. Can you like not see my hair? I know my hair is so messy. Let's just use these clips. Same old story, washed my hair at nighttime, I dried it nicely, sleep in a bun. The hair is probably gonna look nice. I just have a whole bunch of little baby hairs everywhere. And I took off all my earrings cause I'm actually giving my ears a day of rest, <laughs> if you will. I'm actually cleaning the earrings and my ears like you know, around the outside. So I'm gonna light my nest candle. I've actually used this for years. Oh, oh, oh. It gets all like weird and like crackly. I just love the smell. So it's been about pretty close to a month that we've bought the Christmas tree. What's funny is that usually this tree smells very strong the whole time. I mean, since we bring it home, you know? For some reason, this tree wasn't smelling or you get used to the smell and you don't smell it anymore. But it's only been like less than a month. So I was kind of like, what's wrong with this tree? It's not dried. Playing with my dog just earlier this morning, giving him a treat, it hella smelled. Anyways, so today I feel inspired and I wanted to try this crazy makeup look that is gonna test my skills and limits because one, I don't have the eye shape, two, I may or may not have the colors. Hence, everything that I thought would work, I have it here today. And I know it's not a true holiday look, but I just wanted to film this. So this girl, her IG is called by Brooke L. I found her on Instagram. Now her picture is slanted. Look how... Um. Isn't that so stunning? She's so pretty. I don't have her eye shape. I don't have her complexion. I don't have eyebrows like her because I don't really have much eyebrow hairs. So this is gonna be a challenge, but I feel like, you know what? I could probably just do it in my own version with the same colors and it's still gonna be the same. All right, today I just felt like I wanted to film out here. I haven't filmed in natural lighting I mean, I usually have my window shades open, but I haven't filmed like literally in front of a window window in like such a long time. So when I first started filming YouTube videos and when I went on vacations, I would always sit by the window at a hotel and just do my makeup. So today I just really wanted to film in front of a window with natural lighting. It's literally just a window, the camera, my mirror here, and no additional artificial lights. Although it does make the video nicer, I just wanna switch it up today. <laughs> so have you guys done all your shopping yet? So I'm like the crazy one, I shop throughout the year. I basically shop so I'm prepared by the time it gets to December. I already had bought that, say in the summer or whatever you know just to like have it already i'm gonna go ahead and carve my brows i feel like this look is definitely gonna need some carving and perfect looking brows and eye shape if you guys didn't know i have a holiday giveaway that's happening right now so if you guys haven't seen the video where i post the giveaway i'll go ahead and link that down below for you guys and if you guys didn't know, it's just two easy steps for the entry. As always, do you want to subscribe to my channel and follow me on IG. My gamer husband is playing again, so if you guys hear some random screamings and yelling, I'm sorry. He made a proposal to me the other day. He says the next place we get or if we do end up upgrading or doing something, he's going to make me a soundproof room. Oh yeah. I didn't realize how much I missed Urban Decay's primer potion until I ran out of my Lorac Pro behind the scenes eyelid primer. I also got some new buys from Amazon and I think I wanna share in another video, kind of like Amazon's must have 
suggested by me quarantine edition. I don't have a lot of it, but I feel like I could share that with you. So I don't know, my eyes aren't really hooded, but they're not monolid. They're not deep creased. I don't know what they are. What are they today? They're looking hooded today. <laughs> So I do have a crease. They're just not very deep or sunken in. So when I do apply on makeup, I always like to enhance my crease so it looks a little bit more sunken in so it shows more of my lid space. I have some major wrinkly eyes going on. All right, let's get this started. I don't really know what I should do first. So just looking at the picture, her crease color is some purple stuff going on. We are going to use purple as a base, but we're gonna build it. We're just not gonna start off with that heavy purple. I'm gonna use this color, which is Unexpected. This is by Makeup Geek. It's a soft mauve color, dusty rose-ish, but still in the purple family. That looks like a good base to start off with. I'm really nervous because I feel like this is gonna be a hot mess because she has a lot of colors on, but she has like that eye space for it. So the next color she has is a matte plummy kind of purple. I'm actually going to start with this first and then add more to it with another type of purple if needed, but I'm going to start off with this first. This is like a warm purple. I'm just going to start this on the outer corners of my eyes, kind of angling the shadow just like this first. So from kind of a pretend line from my eyebrows, but dabbing it here and bringing it to, to, to my lash line here. I'm gonna try not to go too far into my lid space. Otherwise, I'm not gonna have too much lid space for the shimmery, pinky. Just gonna focus this right on the outer corners. It's, it's gonna look messy, which is totally fine. Just making like a nice V shape. Because this brush is a little bit more pointy, I can actually let it sink into my eye socket here and then just kind of like rock it in there. So it has a little bit more dimension in the crease. It's always easy to locate the area first where you want to place the shadow. Instead of keeping your eyes all the way open or closed, you just want to make sure. Because with this hoodedness here, if I keep it open like this and I apply it on and I just relax my eyes, it's gonna cover it. You wanna make sure your eyes are relaxed first. And then you can take a step back to see if more is needed in a certain area. So now I'm gonna keep my eyes open because I want this brush to actually follow the crease from the outer to the inner. And I'm not dabbing the extra product. I'm just using whatever's left over on the brush. So this kind of gives me an outline of where I'm placing the shadow. And of course, if I need to add more, since I have that outline already, I can always add more shadow. There's a lot going on there. So I want to deepen the purple a little bit more because right now it's really plummy, but I want it to be a little bit more deeper that looks more black, but not necessarily adding the black. This color here is Drama Queen, also by Makeup Geek. I'm just going to dab it right on the outer corners. Oh, yes. Now this is definitely more purple and it's definitely deeper. Now I'm gonna take the remaining product and just kind of rock it here. So I basically took whatever's left over and I took the brush and I basically outlined the crease over the first purple so it's starting to darken in layers. So now I'm going to clean up and brighten the center and gonna give not really a cut crease but I am gonna define the crease a bit but keep it just in the center. Pray for me guys. So I'm going left and right because I don't want it to have like a straight line. So I'm just lightly blending it. So there's no line of demarcations of where I'm placing the concealer. But I just wanna focus it just on the center. That's the main part. And then we're just going to lightly feather it out. We'll be putting some more purple there. Well, this is harder than I thought. Taking the same smudger brush with the same purple, just going to dab it on the outer corners, cover up a little concealer that I didn't mean to put there. And then I'm gonna take the center and just fill it in, inish, inish. <laughs> just gonna fill it in in the center there just a slight bit. I'm gonna have to refer to this picture like every step. <laughs> she just has big beautiful eyes. And it's sucks. We definitely need some magentas going on out here because it's looking a little empty. So I'm going to take this color. This is by Makeup Forever. Don't hate on me, but this is an old shadow. I don't even know what number this is. 
Ooh, it's number five. Oh. I think my candle finally died. You know this is an old shadow because they're not round anymore and yeah. But I'm just gonna take this and just put this in the crease while blending it into the purples and bringing it up to my brow bone. Wanna have a nice gradient of blend with the two shades there. And you wanna keep in mind when you're rocking into the crease, you don't wanna cover the concealer part. We gotta get this a little bit more vibrant. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this orange there just to make it a little bit more vibrant. And again, I'm just focusing it more on the outer crease and then whatever's left over, I'm bringing it inwards, but I really want to make sure I pack it just on the outer parts. Again, we're just layering the colors. Am I the only one thinking that it's looking scary? So I'm gonna add a little bit more of this drama queen back in here. I'm liking my right eye more than my left eye. I mean, a girl's running out of lid space and eye space here. We'll just stop right here. <laughs> I'm gonna work on the lid space because I want to find that, that perfect, perfect brush. So I wanna find that perfect, beautiful color. I feel like this color here would be very pretty because it is kind of goldish. And if I need to, I could probably add a little bit of this on top, but I'm gonna start off with this first. This color is Primavera. Sounds like an ice cream. I'm gonna start off in the center. This is the color. Oh my God, guys, this turned out so nice. Well, not the makeup look of this color. This is the color I like. It's working out nicely. Since this eye is more rounded, I'm not gonna bring it too high, which I normally do. This eye is more almond shaped, so I do need to bring it a little bit higher so it's gonna be even. Can you guys tell the difference? It's like this eye is like saggy, so it needs to go. Here we go, going back with the Drama Queen. We want to deepen the crease a slight bit. So I'm gonna take the pointy brush. Now I'm actually gonna keep my eyes open and just let this Basically outline the gold and then bring it in the center. I promise once I have lashes on, it's gonna look better. Ooh, I did too much purple. Okay, we're gonna take the concealer again and I don't have a blue like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm basically just gonna take the concealer that I have and use this as a base. The blue is actually gonna go over the purple a slight bit. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now because it's baking. No fallouts on my face. So I'm not sure if this is gonna even matter, but I'm gonna use a deep purple mascara. I have to say, I'm pretty happy that this look doesn't entail a wing because this was already a lot. <laughs> I just haven't done a wing in so long or a nice one, you know? Definitely, it's something that you have to practice. I used to be a wing queen and just black eyeliner all day. Today, I decided to use a different tweezer because these are not as sharp. And because these lashes are definitely more full, the band is definitely thicker. So I'm basically just squeezing my lashes with the falsies. Gonna take a black gel liner to tight line because we don't want any skin from our eyelids peeking through as this is going to be a very smoky and dramatic look, including my eye area lash band to be super black. So now I'm going to mirror all the shadows from the top to the bottom. This is closest as a blue I will get, like a blue green. This is Mermaid, also by Makeup Geek. Since I did put concealer here, I'm hoping, yes, it's gonna be bright. I'm just gonna drag it down to the front of my lash line and then just kind of let it blend in there. So this is gonna blend into the purples a slight bit. Now working on the bottom lashes, I feel like my eyes need to be super dark, so I'm gonna add more black in the waterline. I'm also gonna deepen the outer corners where the purple is with some black. Just a smidge. What do you guys think so far? 
holiday look. So the last thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of this color here. We're going to use this as a highlight, just like what she has. She has a very thin highlight right at the brow bone. So I'm going to do this as well and just that very thin spot there. Is that a bigger spot? Oops. So this is the vibe for today. It's just going to be in a pony. Had my little sideburns come down. No earrings. Very chill. What do you guys think of this look? I know it's a bit dramatic. Again, just stepping out of my elements and comfort zone because I really wanted to try something different. I saw this look on her. I know I don't have her eye shapes or her complexion. Like I said, her eyebrows. So side note, everything was basically the same placements as her colors. The only thing I didn't do is bring the purple in where most of the blue is because a girl was running out of space on her eyes. So instead of bringing all the purple in, I focused more of the highlight in the center to be that blue color in instead. So yeah, this is my version of don't be discouraged on applying makeup because you may not have the same eye shape. Complexions, eyebrows, eyelashes, it really doesn't matter. I seriously am like breaking out like here from wearing that mask. This lip plumper guys is no joke. It was like it still is tingling. I had to wipe it off. So I'm going to put on another gloss for you guys before I end this video. This one here is Cakey by Beauty Bakery. It's so soothing. My lips are still on fire. I'll have a side-by-side -side comparison and you guys tell me what you think. Again, let's be nice because I don't have her eye shape, but I really do love her shadows and how she created with her eyes but i tried the best i could in my version on this take so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you found this useful or helpful in any way with my tips and tricks for this look if you share similar features as me <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye